One of the many speakers at the 2016 MAPS Winter Conference, Jim Ansbach covered the keys to success in underground utility mapping. We caught up with him afterward to ask about accounting for elements of uncertainty. One of the ways we can get information on the existing utilities is to go to utility owners and others that may have a written record of that information when they installed it. Unfortunately, there are many places we can get records and even within a particular company, like a utility company, it doesn't matter which one, they may have records in multiple places. The engineering department may have records that are for engineering purposes, whereas the front desk clerk may have records that are good enough for the typical citizen who is using it for other purposes. So when we go to get records, we need to be very clear that we are doing uh, enough to get those kinds of records that contain the information we need. When we put information on plans that others are going to depend upon to do something with, whether it's design an element around it or use it for construction bidding purposes or some other purpose, we have to be very clear that that information is uh, known to be correct. And when there is an element of uncertainty, which happens a lot with underground utilities, we need to transfer that uh, knowledge of the uncertainty to the particular end user. There are several major misperceptions or problems with the way we typically portray utilities on plans at this moment. One of them is relying solely upon information given to us by others over which we have no control, whether those others are utility owners or their contract locators or their records clerks or any of that kind of, of, of stuff. We need to know that the information that we are getting is under our control and we're doing the best we can. So I think the most important takeaway is that if you want good information on plans, it is incumbent upon you, the professional, to go get it and be responsible for it. Mm -hmm.